Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now today what we are going to be doing is we are going to be making something called a wheat twist. We have got two four, um, 14 inch bits of rebar, they are 14 inches long. Um, don't know how much they are in diameter but there you go, never mind. But anyway we've got 14 inch um, bits of rebar, two 14 inch bits of rebar. We're going to stick them in the forge and we shall try and make this wheat twist. This is the first time I've ever done this. Um, so it might go horribly wrong, it might go horribly right. Who knows, there might be a little bit in between. First time I've ever done it. So, let's hope for the best. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. together and then we're going to turn four to roll them. Yeah. 
what we're going to do is we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other piece. Okay, now we're just going to again heat this part up, then um, try and pour it together. So now we are going to put the twists in. Oops. So with the twists, what we want to try and do is one of the two pieces needs to be twisted to the right, the other one needs to be twisted to the left, or one of them needs to be twisted to clockwise, the other anti-clockwise. Get a drift. I'm going to put this one down. Get the other. Now we're going to try and twist this on the stick. So, now we're just going to try and twist so this one. We're going to be twisting clockwise.
one twisted clockwise, so now we're going to do the other one anti-clockwise. Again, we're going to stick the fork, cut it in, in the bike. One twist is anti clockwise, one twist, one twist is clockwise. So now we're just going to straighten them out, make them look really nice. You already see the pattern coming in. It looks alright. Uh, I think I've got the alignment of the twists a bit wrong, but uh, it is what it is. But first go. So Now what we've got to do is, um, I've got some wire here. So I'm going to wrap that around the two pieces. And then we shall forge weld the two ends together. Oops, uh, cool off now, so we're just going to put this wire around it. What we're going to do now, we're just going to wrap it around here, wrap it around in the middle so it doesn't burn off. Right, so the first bits that we're going to forge weld up, those two thin bits that we forge welded before, and then we shall forge weld these bits here, and it should be hopefully one sort of piece and a proper weed twist. Probably won't look exactly like the things you see on the internet because it's my first time, but hey ho! So, <laughs> anyone that could do this, please be friendly in the comments. So, the wire actually that I wrapped around actually melted in the forge. So, um, all I did now is I just MIG welded it just on one side just to hold it together um, whilst I'm forging it, and hopefully. Um, it shouldn't break whilst I am forge welding it, or forge weld it before it breaks. <laughs> Be nice. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with that. Um, it's all nicely lined up. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab this end, not grip it too tight because it'll, it'll probably snap the weld. I just grip this end and then, um, do that, clean it up, flux it, all the sort of stuff you need to do for a forge weld. Forge weld it, then do the same to the other side. You're just gonna clean it off.
George who wants to jump on the brush. Brush these two bigs together. Um, as well. Again, we're just going to try and take our time with it. Take it out, give it a few hits. Um, put it back in the like, cover of the Put it back in the forge, give it a few hits. Put it out. Lift it up, put it back in the forge. Give it a little longer. A little bit more yellow.
twist. Go straight out a little bit more. Look at it. I'm a very happy 14 year old. Look at that. That to me doesn't look half bad. Could be a little bit straighter, but my first time. And obviously this could be used. Um I could you could make a hook out of this, you could you could forge weld this end or that end onto another piece of bone. It could be used for a fire poker or a forging tool or something like that. It could be used for a handle, it could be used for a hook, it could be or whatever you could think of really and uh, it's just or it could be look, just a nice decorative piece yeah quite pleased with that so let me know what you think in the comments what do you th what you think i could do better i could probably do that a little bit better that looks a bit messy but hey ho i'm quite pleased with that very pleased with it i'll shut up now and you can see the slime though That's will be the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I am absolutely thrilled about this. This is very cool. Um, really glad I could get the forge welds. Pretty, that one's a bit... Yeah. But <laughs> um, this one's alright. You can't really see the seams too much. I think I'm getting better. Assuming as it's only like my fourth time doing a forge weld. First time doing a weak twist. I am thrilled with the outcome yeah very pleased with it anyway thank you um comment what you liked please like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already turn notifications on um yeah i hope you have a good day and bye bye